Okay, ready for some leading edge skins to be installed. I don't know if I'm very good at editing video, so I'm probably just going to do several videos kind of putting this together. But one of the things I like to do uh, is come back here. I've got my saw horses. I like to put a uh, like a two by four block underneath there under the spar spars. You do it on all four corners. And the reason is so that I can get, uh, you know, that when you put the nose ribs and skins on, you notice that it's going to be, if you, it, they're going to set on that. Uh, this way with the blocks underneath there, we can move the spars around and keep the leading edge skins up off the, the sawhorse. So I've got that on all four corners. Also remember to be sure, hopefully you've been putting your one inch block underneath your inboard, uh, outboard, in the back left corner, your rear spar on the outside, outboard in, you wanna come up an inch higher. So I've got my sawhorse, I've got a one and a half inch block underneath here, then I've got one inch, I use two cedar shims where I can just shim them, find the right amount for one inch and put that there. You see I've got a block over there also. So that's just getting it up again to give me clearance so my ribs aren't hitting the uh, sawhorse, okay? So it's very important. Hopefully you've had that done when you dragged, did the drag wires, did all the trammeling. It's very important now because the leading edge skins are really gonna lock everything in place. There are a lot of different ways to, to do this and there are two different airplanes, uh, the EX2 and the EX3. The EX3, which is what this is, they did some pretty substantial changes, and one of them is the leading edge skins are a thicker a gauge aluminum, so it's a thicker. But also the biggest thing is it wraps around the spar completely on almost all uh, of the uh, skins to where it starts here. It'll wrap completely around the nose, come back, come back, wrap underneath the spar and connect there. So it's gonna be completely closed off this nose area, so you can't get up underneath there. The EX2 skins stopped somewhere like about right here and did not go all the way to the bottom of the front spar. So you were always able to come up underneath here and you could wiggle nose ribs or whatever you needed to do, but you cannot do it on the EX3 because it's going to be, once you put the skin up there, you no longer have access this this way uh, using the uh, to uh, get up underneath there. The EX3s are locked in. Uh, until you get to the last skin here, the last skin on the outboard side, you'll notice that they stopped it so it's short. So these last nose ribs are really easy to get a hold of if you will need to move them around a little bit, okay? The way I like to do it the best to line up the nose ribs is some people use string. I wanna be able to make these perpendicular now, but I still wanna be able to fairly easily move them if I need to a little bit. So using string and stuff like that or fixtures or whatever, I just don't think works because you're not flexible enough to be able to move them. This, you can still move it. Come back over here on this end. I just take masking tape, lock it in here, come across here to this first rib, okay? And then just run it, just leave it loose. Just, just pull the tape out, go all the way down the nose ribs where it'll be across the front, come across this last rib, and then I just come across here and wrap this back over here so it's secure, so it'll stay. And that doesn't have to be real tight, but just, you know, tight enough. So now what I can do is go back, and you can see what I've done. I, I've squared this, this first nose rib up right here and kind of locked it in. I use, like to use this kind of a square. It's got a long edge on this side over here so I can... Uh, really get it square all the way out to the end of the nose. Now, what I do, let's go down here. I'm just in the process of doing this. So, for example, what I'll do is I'll take the square, put it up against the spar here, and you can angle it just enough, see where you can get, the, get it down towards the end of the nose. And then just while you're watching the gaps there, see, just push that nose rib over until it's nice it's hitting that all the way square. Once it's square and everything's nice, you can see where I put a mark, Sharpie marker right where it should, that nose should hit that tape, okay? So you can go down through here and first don't worry about securing it. You can, you can actually push the tape up against it. So you can go like that 
and then kind of push it up there, but it may not hold it for now, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna come back and secure it later. So go to each one of them, go all the way down first, making sure it's nice and flush up against the spar, push the end of it out until it's nice, straight all the way on there, then put you a Sharpie marker right where the nose rib touches the tape, okay? Once you go down and do all that. Then you come back and just take some tape and take you a little piece of tape like this. See if I can do it with one hand. But you're just gonna take a piece of tape like that. And then come back and just move it, move the nose rib, you know, to where it's on your mark and then just go up across the top. And all we're doing is just kind of securing that nose rib. You can bend it over a little bit if you need to or whatever, but you can see the mark and you can see it's still good. So do that and go all the way down the line getting these all completely straight. And that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I'm gonna get, uh, we're gonna start with the outboard rib right here. And we're gonna put it in here. And like the manual says, we're gonna move it about, it should be about an inch outside this part, this uh, nose rib. But really what we're doing is already pre-drilled. Here, as you can see, these pre-drilled holes, of course, are gonna go over this nose rib. So that's really the important thing. The next thing I'm gonna do too is go back and I'm gonna mark a blue magic marker line all the way down the center lines of these. I'll take a ruler actually, but I'll put a silver, put a blue marker down the centers of every one of these top and bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back.